Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to see that you can use presets files to manage a project that uses Conan easily. As we saw in the last lecture, there are two kinds of presets. We have a CMake presets file, which is going to store your settings, but these are settings that you want to share across the team that is using your project. CMake user preset is something you want to keep yourself and Conan is going to give us a good example of that in a minute. With Conan, we're not going to do things the same way we did them with VC package because I want you to see that you can create your project using Conan using what's called layout. In this video, we will be using a CMake layout and this is going to give us a starter C++ project that uses CMake. And you can read about this going to this link here. If we go there, I think I have it opened in my browser. So this is the link, CMake toolchain building your project using CMake presets. In this example, they will create a project using the CMake toolchain and the layout here. So to create the project, you run this command, Conan new, D and specify the name of the project, specify the version of the project and specify the layout here. Once you have this, you will install the dependencies by running Conan install. You already know this. And this is going to generate a bunch of preset files. This is going to generate a CMake preset file, which is going to be nested in your build folder. And it will also generate a CMake user presets file, which is going to be leaving in your root folder. And uh, from that moment on, we will be able to build our project and do whatever it is we want to do with it. So let's go through these steps together. What I am going to do in this project, let's open the location where it is on my drive here. What I am going to do in this project, I had this done in preparation of this lecture, but I will delete everything here. Okay, so let's close Visual Studio Code for that to work. Let's continue. This is going to go away and I will open this project again in Visual Studio Code. I have left in the .vs code folder because it has settings that I want to use for the project that is going to be generated. Make sure you have these settings in your settings.json file. Again, this is going to give me a status bar I can click on to have an easy life using CMake with Visual Studio Code here. Okay, so let's run the command. I have this stored in a GitHub repository. So let's say kernel kind of new D name and specify the layout that we want to use here. So let's come back to the terminal in our project and show terminal and we will put in the command and we will change the name to be rooster because that's how I like to name my toy projects. So Conan new D name rooster, the version is this and we will be using the CMake layout. This is the important thing here. If you hit enter, this is going to generate the project and this is really good. Okay, so let's see the next thing we need to do. We need to run a Conan install. But before we do that, we can change the project to our liking. So for example, we can change the code in the main file that was generated. You see that it has a main file. It has a rooster.h file that does some things. We can really modify this however we want. And we can put our dependencies in the Conan file. We can do all these things here. And this is really cool. One thing that this project of ours doesn't have is our dependency function that is going to have our dependencies, but we can easily copy this from our Conan file from GitHub and paste them in here. Let's see where I put it so that we are consistent. So below the layout function, we can put in our requirements function, which is going to bring in the dependencies. And uh, you can see that uh, this Conan recipe system allows you to specify a lot of things about your project. You can specify the license and all kinds of crazy things. I'll leave you to look at that for yourself, but uh, this is what we need for now. Now that we have this in place, we can run our Conan command, which is going to be stored where? In the root cmake list.txt file. So we have the Conan command here. Let's do that. Conan install, build debug, and we will be using C20. I copy the command because I don't want to make typos and waste your time here. So let's do that. Conan install, and it is going to install the dependencies for this thing. Most of these are already available on the system, so it won't be a big problem. But one thing you notice after we run this Conan command is that a build folder will be generated for us. 
On top of that, we will also have a CMake user presets JSON file generated for us. And this is really cool. If you open the user presets file, you will see that it is just including what is in our build folder. You see include something that is in our project, in the build folder, in the generators, in the CMake presets JSON. We can hunt this down. So let's go in the build folder. So build generators, that's there where we are. We can find our CMEC presets JSON file. And if you look at it, you see that it is familiar. It is strikingly similar to what we had with VC package. We have the version, we have the vendor. So this is coming from Conan. We have CMEC minimum required. We have our configure presets. Okay, so this is the name. The generator is going to be Visual Studio because we are on Windows. This is what is going to be used by default. We have a few catch variables, but notice that they are also setting up a toolchain file. And this is the most important thing if you ask me. This is what is going to say CMake to use Conan for dependency management. And the binary dir is going to be in our build folder. So this is what we are including from our presets file, our user presets file, which is in our root directory, and it is going to be used right away. So let's go down and see that we have a build preset, which is Conan debug here. We have a test preset, which is Conan debug here. And our project is now ready. Okay, and I showed you these steps to highlight the fact that you can generate your project using Conan, and it is going to give you the necessary presets file to make your project run on your system. If you are on Linux, it probably gave you different things from what we saw on Windows here. But the most important thing is that we can use this project here. I don't know why we can't see the status bar, but let's try to select a preset here. So view command palette, select configure preset, select configure preset. Where is that? Select configure. It's not giving us these options here. Let's close this project and open it again. Sometimes that helps. Okay, you see, now it's probably going to work. I don't know what problem Visual Studio had, but now we can go to view command palette, select configure preset. Okay, you see we have Conan debug, we can select this. View command palette, select bold preset. We select Conan debug here and view command palette, select a test preset. And now we have Conan debug here and we have selected, we can build the project and it is going to do whatever it is configured to do. So if we hit the build button, it is going to generate our binary. And by default, it is going to run the Rusto binary. If you run it, it is going to say whatever it is saying here. And if you go in the main CPP file, you will see that it is what is saying. Now we can modify this project to use one of the libraries that we have pulled from the dependencies that we have here, for example, we can use SFML, why not? For this to work, we can go in the main file and uh, what do we do? Let's look at the CMake lists.txt file, add executable. It's going to be using rooster CPP and main.cpp and it's going to have this install things that we don't really care about at this point. So I am going to nuke these rooster files because I don't like the way they do them. Okay, so delete rooster. And I am going to change the main file to use the code from one of the SFML examples. So let's search for SFML and go to the documentation. And if we go to learn, I think we will find a bunch of tutorials. Is it the location where we want to go? Let's go to the tutorials and I click on tutorials and I use one of the examples here. This is, should give us a starting example that we can run. Okay, here is one example that we can copy. So let's copy this. And this is going to link against SFML graphics. I will copy and delete everything that we had in that main CPP file. And we will make sure to link against SFML graphics. If you remember, that's what we need to do. So let's do that. The first thing we need to do is to find package. Okay, so let's say find package, find package, and we want SFML, and uh, we want these components here. And at the bottom, we want to target link libraries, libraries, and we want to link against SFML. So we just want SFML graphics. I think this is the target that is defined. So let's do that. 
we don't want to rooster cpp because it's no longer available in the project i think this is going to work so we find package if we don't find it we're going to halt but it is going to be available because conan installed it for us let's try to build again and see what happens and you see that conan is giving us a bunch of targets that we can link against again we have sfml graphics here this is really cool let's try to build and see what we get this is going to build our rooster binary which is going to be using sfml and if we run this is going to give us an sfml window which is tiny with a circle but this is fine we can uh, work with this this is really cool another thing i want you to see is that you can also debug this so if you want you can set up a breakpoint here and hit debug the debug button is down here you can see this bug button if you run it we're going to hit the breakpoint and we can walk through the project you see our registers you see our locals you can really do all kinds of crazy things i am not going to debug this project because i just want you to see how things work in this video i just want you to be aware of cmic presets and how they make your life easier if you are using your cmic project through an ide or editor like visual studio code and conan has a special feature that allows you to create a project and it's going to create this cmake list.txt file for you it's also going to create this preset you don't have to set them up on your own okay if you found this video useful please remember to do the usual like share subscribe leave a comment to let me know what you think i am going to stop here right now and i will see you next time